Hey everyone, so I wanted to quickly come on and show you guys how to use and upload a digital planner. So what you'll need is um, an iPad and an app. If you go to the app store that you'll want to purchase if you don't have it already, it's called GoodNotes 5 or another app called Notability. So if you don't have it, you would go ahead and purchase it. And this app is fantastic. You can use it to take notes. You can use it, of course, to upload your digital planners and do so much more with it. Or you can also use Notability. So the digital planner works with either or. And if you have a pencil, great. If you don't, doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through. So once you purchase, um, the digital planner, which you can find in the Etsy store called Brand Study and purchase it directly through Etsy or through PayPal. I do encourage if you don't have an Etsy account to create one that way you can always have access, but they also do send it to your email for you to download as well. So once you purchase it, uh, then it'll end up in your email and I'm just going to show you guys, sorry, I'm just going to go ahead and go to my email where it would be and I've already kind of done it so I can walk you guys through fairly quickly here how it does show up. So in my mail, here it is, it's been purchased and um, this is how it looks once you've purchased it. And it says, woohoo, your order is confirmed. So there's two options for the cover. So you would choose which option you want, cover one or cover two, and you could open both to kind of see which one you like. It's gonna take me to my Etsy account, which I already have, um, since I'm already a member of, it opened up automatically there. And then you can see all of the downloads that you have available. So I would click on this one, and then I'm gonna click open in. And then it opens it right here at the bottom. You can see it says open, save to files, open in GoodNotes. Now these are PDFs, so you go, go ahead and open it in GoodNotes and then click open. And then you wanna import as a new document. So I went ahead and I import it as a new document. So there it is. And then now I'm gonna go back to my account here. Then you wanna click on the one that says undated planner new compressed and open that PDF and it takes me there. And then again, I'm gonna click download. And then I'm gonna click, it's giving me an error message, that's okay. For this one, because it's a pretty big file, I have to open, let me open it in a new window. So I open it in a new window and then now I can open in GoodNotes. And then I'm gonna import it to the current document, which will be right behind this picture. And then there you have it. So now let's take a look from the beginning and I'm gonna just push through to kind of show you guys how it looks. So this is January and it's undated. So you would have to put in the dates for January, but I've included in the downloads a 2021 calendar that you can just um, either print or open alongside on your iPad to put the dates in. And as you can see here, it has all of the boxes for you to put all the things that you need to do for the day. And then it goes to February. The nice thing about these digital um, planners, so this one has hyperlinks. So if you were to click this little pencil with the X over it here, like so, then all of these links become hyperlinks. So basically all you have to do to get to the month that you want to go to is go ahead and click it. So see, it took me to August. If I go back, it'll take me to February. I can click on March. I can click on December. And then again, I would just have all of this here to kind of fill out. As you can see. See that? And if I wanna go back to the homepage, I can just click on there and you see greatness lives within. And this was made with love and it's for personal use only. So of course you can click on it. If I, for me to write or click, I have to unclick this up here and then it opens this up where I can now um, write. So I can type, which I love to do. And I would just put this planner belongs to me. And then I can go and scroll and then I could put my top priorities so I can type type priority. This month is to work out uh, five times a week. 
All right, <laughs> uh, monthly goals. Let's see, my goal uh, for this month is to lose four pounds, right? So those are some of the things that you can go ahead and put. You can put your appointments and things like that here. And then of course, like I said, you can fill out the dates um, by you can either type it in or write it in. If you have a pencil, um, you can do it that way as well. Or you can always use your keyboard on your iPad. And again, you can go ahead and put the things that you need. Like today is Sunday. So I can write the date in um, what today is. But, you know, I have, for instance, um, workout to do. I have to do laundry. Um you know, you can do it however, which way you want. So yeah, this is just kind of show you an example of all how you would do it. And you can move this box around and et cetera, et cetera. So this is what it looks like. It's really easy to use. Um, I've been doing digital planners for quite some time now and I absolutely love them. And that's why I decided to go ahead and design this one for you guys. So if you are interested, again, the link is in my bio right now, limited edition, limited quantities. So be sure to pick one up. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll be more than happy to help. All right, thanks guys.